Miss me. Y'all made that living out of winning so many close games. Last year it kind of evened out a little bit. Looking back, what do you think y'all need to do to kind of get that edge in those close games that y'all had? Yeah, I think I think we just need to continue to work throughout the game. Where sometimes we'll be up and we'll come back, or we'll start slow and then we got to work our way back. Um, but I just think playing that full 40 minutes and having an emphasis on that, um, from the starting five to the guys on the bench to the guys at the end of the bench, just playing that full 40 minutes and dominating that the entire time. What changes have you seen in front of from right now to the end of last year? I mean, I mean, I feel like he's a lot more confident. He's always been able to do some stuff. Um, he's had a great IQ for the game, great feel, make the right pass, make the right play. Um, but now it's just the confidence on the scoring end. When he gets the ball in his hand, he's not he's looking to pass it, not looking to screen. Where he'll, he knows the spots where to run the offense and when to right, make the right pass. But he's looking for a shot, and I think that's the biggest thing that makes him makes him stick out this year. Has he always practiced this way, or you know, is this something that's even new? Just watching him go through practice. I mean, yeah, he's always practiced. He's always practiced really hard. Um, I mean, growing up or throughout my time here, it's always been me and him going at it. So I, he's always brought that edge, edge to practice. He'll, he's not afraid to really stir it up, talk some, talk some crap, um, and just bring some energy. So he's always been like that. I think. I'm curious about Nolan Winter. Uh, he's, he's instantly. I mean, you, you can tell pretty quickly that he's good. But uh, I'm curious how he's improved from the time, like when, like when he first showed up in Madison, until now. Um, I mean, I, what I would say about Nolan is that he's just soaking everything in as like a sponge. Um, he got here, he wasn't the biggest guy, but he put on some weight. But I think the most impressive thing is he comes in, um, we'll write the plays down or we'll say a play, and he picks it up pre pretty quick in one or two goes. Um, so that's pretty impressive. And then just his feel for the game. Um, he's a big guy with a great touch. Um, he can score it, he can pass it, dribble it a little bit. So he's, I feel like he's just, he's just kind of, he just keeps getting better in everything. Uh, since, since the beginning of the summer. The decision to come back, what made you, how difficult the decision was and what made you ultimately decide you wanted one more shot? Um, I feel like throughout the year, it was it was a lot of thoughts going through my head. Once, once the season really ended, um, it was an easy decision. All my all my buddies are here. It's a great place, the program, the people. Like It was a pretty easy, easy decision once everything was over and I was able to settle down and get my thoughts together. And, just come back. Had you made the NCAA, it might have changed things. If y'all had done, you know, made an NCAA run last year. Um, I don't think so. I think it w at the end of the day, I would have sat down. I would have looked at the situation I had. Um, because I mean, my grandpa told me he was like, you know, you might want to stick around in college for a little bit for an extra year uh, before the whole all of last season started. So at the end of the day, it's it's just another get to go around. Um. And I think what really, what really it, it is, is the team aspect. Where you go on to play professional, you want to make your next contract, you want to score your points to get to get your next next paycheck. Really. And so here's where you get the two guys, 18 to 22 year old young men, um, working towards one thing. And without any care for really a whole lot of other stuff, I think it's really cool. What was your grandfather's reason? Just you know, don't want to start your life, <laughs> start again. Yeah, well, he, he he didn't really tell me a whole lot. He just kind of hinted at like, hey, you should maybe stick around. <laughs> I'm sure he wanted to come to a few more games, too. Huh? Hey, you know, when, when Stuart uh, got here, Adrian got here, the initial talk was all about his athletic ability. But how would you, what have you observed to him? Things like cutting, rebounding, uh, today finding open guys, cutting to the basket, just little things that have nothing to do with that. I mean, yeah, I mean, I feel like he, there's those guys that live in the gym and they just pick up a little bit of everything in basketball. And I think AJ's one of those guys where, he spends a lot of time in the gym, either by himself with someone rebounding. He's always working on his game, and so when you, when you have the ball in your hands a lot, I feel like you kind of just pick things up, and, and the game comes to him. How does he compare to some of the, the other Badgers that you've seen in, in all your years here, uh, just from what you've seen from him so far? Um, he's 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 understanding what we're doing now. I mean, we're a couple weeks into into this fall season where we're putting in our defensive schemes, our offensive schemes, um, the way we do things, all our rules, and so uh, he's starting to figure that out. Um, I, I feel like it's hard to really compare him to anyone um, because since when I got here, it was all the older guys. And then as it comes, I'd be comparing him to someone else on the team. So I feel like there's not really anyone on the team like that, but yeah. Three-pointer was looking pretty good today. I guess how much you've been working on that and you know how comfortable are you feeling with that shot? I mean, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great. I spent a lot, that was pretty much the only thing that I was working on this summer, that and getting my body healthy. So, I mean, 
just shooting every day, getting my confidence up. I think that's the main point. Um, positive talk to myself and just letting it fly, not really having a second guess or maybe a half second delay to throw my timing off. Just when I get an open shot, let it fly. Have you guys pride yourself on defense, in particular taking charges? They've changed the rules this year. I'm sure you're aware of that, right? Have you guys talked about that from coaches to you about that it might be more difficult to try to draw a charge? Yeah, we, we, we've had an emphasis where if it's close, you got to jump ball, and that's always been what we preach here, um, where if you think you're kind of in there, you gotta, you got to jump. And so that just, that just the new rules this year kind of emphasizes it. Um, but I did get one in the red white so I don't know. It might be easier. <laughs> when you say jump, I don't remember here, but two years ago, the opener against Indiana, we had light display late in the game, you jumped up. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, that like the jump wall jump kind wall. of thing that we practice. So you guys would probably have to try that more this year than just draw it. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure. We've had talks. We had the head ref come in and kind of tell us about our new rules that we do and everything. So. With AJ here, with all the guys you have back, how much more comfortable are you with the depth of this year's team versus maybe a year ago? I mean, the differences there? Yeah, it's, it's a huge difference. It's night and day. We got 18 guys who really want to play. Um, where last year, well, we had 16 guys. And we had a few freshmen. And the experience really wasn't there. Where last year we had all these guys coming into the game, even if it was like Isaac Lindsay or Cameron Kamari McGee, where they come in once every three games. Um, they got experience doing that. And so with that, um, the pickup with AJ and then the freshman, I think it's just going to be great where we have that constant competition daily, um, guys trying to earn minutes, and it just is going to bring us to where we want to be. Uh, with a few weeks of practice on your belt, is there anything specific that, you, that you've maybe seen improve over time from uh, the team as a whole? Um, I feel like our, our cutting, um, we're starting to figure out kind of how to, how to pass it in the post, how to, where our guys are supposed to be. So I think just the flow of everything is, is getting a lot better. So we're having our pace on our cuts, we're pushing in transition, getting to our spots, everyone's running in the right spots. And so that just sets everything else up, everything else to move, move more efficiently. Good cool. Sweet. Thank you very much.